Now, Terra Luna Classic is set to experience another phenomenal day of burns today with the Lunatics token that is out there. Now, we talked a little bit about it in the video yesterday, so I'm not going to go into too much detail about the burn percentages and things like that. We will cover them. Um, but this is turning out to be a phenomenal project that is burning a lot of Terra Luna Classic. Now, of course, there are always risks associated with buying another coin that is supposed to burn this coin and things like that. But as of this point, it seems to be doing very well. But I want to discuss this burn rate or this burn level because although the burns have been massive, we, we've got a long way to go, guys. So let's talk about it. If it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2022 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. And hey, look, if you're brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you got a link in the description below for Weeble. It is super simple to set up your account. Any deposit, you guys are getting six free stocks. $1 crypto trade, you're going to get $5 in free crypto. And, and look, we're on a massive, massive, massive dip right now. So it could turn out to be very well in the future especially if you're getting into these prices right now and we see some growth here pretty soon. But let's talk about these burns because that is the main factor that everybody wants to talk about when it comes to Terra Luna Classic. Why? Simply because if you don't burn the 6.5 trillion coin supply, it's going to be very difficult for Terra Luna Classic to reach prices like a penny, 10 cents, a dollar, $10, $100 once more. And in the market cap with the current outstanding supply at those prices, it's not feasible. You know, if you're looking to have a $6 trillion valuation on Terra Luna Classic, it's very hard to believe we're going to get there anytime soon, considering the entire cryptocurrency market. All of the cryptos added together, it's only one trillion. So to to think that uh, I almost said she to think that Terra Luna Classic is going to reach a six trillion dollar valuation, six times the entire market cap, uh, it's kind of naive. Now it doesn't mean that we can't go to a dollar if we reduce that supply, and that is exactly what is happening right now. So yesterday, this Lunatics token. It, it had a phenomenal launch, and it burned 50 million Terra Luna Classic. Now, that's a it's a very large number, guys. It's a very large number. I believe that's around 5,000, little over, a little over or less, depending on what the price was when they burnt it. Uh, $5,000, phenomenal launch on that. But the thing is that I was looking at their volume, and they did, okay, based on the 2% burn tax that they've got out there, they should have been burning roughly $16,000 based on the, the 8 Oh, what was it? Eight hundred thousand dollars in volume that they had done, and and I believe they're around a one million twenty four hour volume on the Lunatics token right now. So the burns are increasing, and they have announced that they will be burning another fifty million Terra Luna Classic this afternoon. I'm not exactly sure what time, but they're gonna be doing it live on their Twitter space. If you guys want to check that out. Um, nonetheless, though, even if they average out their volume and burn daily, end up burning weekly, no matter what they come up with as far as their routine goes, they're burning Terra Luna Classic at a great rate. You know, when Mexi Global announced that they would be burning back at the, I believe, end of May, beginning of June, and a lot of people were jumping on the platform to use and trade Terra Luna Classic so that it could contribute to the burns, they were, they were doing very well. They were burning 50, 60, 70 million Terra Luna Classic, and the price was actually lower than where it is right now at some of those points. So the fact that, uh, that the Lunatics token is burning 50 million Terra Luna Classic at these prices, 5,000 potential dollars per day at this rate, it is looking very good. Now, I do want to discuss this in terms of the bigger picture, because even though we've got a massive burner coming in, burning 50 million Terra Luna Classic, even if they burn it every single day. What does that look like in the grand scheme of things? 50 million compared to the 6.5 trillion. You know, when, when we start to think about numbers that are that big, we think that they're all close. We think that it's, you know, it's just, it's just well, it's a million to a billion and then a billion to a trillion. It's, it's not that big of a deal. When in all reality, even if we burn 50 million, million Terra Luna Classic per day, I believe it was going to take somewhere like 300 
years, 300 plus years to burn the supply basically back down to where it was. Now, I think the, the number was roughly 130,000 days that it was going to take to get to that 6.5 trillion Terra Luna Classic mark. So when you put it in terms like that, we have a long way to go burning Terra Luna Classic before we reduce the supply back down to nothing and allow those prices to be hit, you know, like $100 once more. And it's not going to be impossible, but we do need to step up our game. And we're walking in the correct direction. You know, if you look at where Terra Luna Classic was just a couple of months ago, nobody was burning it. It was a project all on its own. It was, it was out there to stabilize UST, and now it's become this meme coin in this community where burning is a very important part. And what we're seeing right now is a step in the right direction. 50 million today, 50 million tomorrow, maybe one day we're doing 500 million, maybe one day we're doing a billion per day. And that can happen in a couple different ways as well. The price of Terra Luna Classic can continue to come down. Oh, don't say that, Clay. Nobody wants to watch the price come down on anything. It's true. You know, nobody wants to watch the price come down. But if it does, let's say it drops significantly. All of a sudden, that 50 million at the same dollar amount becomes 500 million. If it continues to drop, all of a sudden it becomes 5 billion tokens and then we're making massive progress at that point if the you know if Terra Luna Classic falls in value and, and we're burning 500 million 5 billion per day then we are really going to be taking chunks out of that six and a half trillion at a very quick pace and that's not even including growth think about it if the lunatics token continues to grow in volume and value it's going to burn even more if more and more and more coins jump on board if the community jumps on board if people are selling merchandise and burning if people are opening businesses like they're doing for shiba inu coin and burning terra luna classic all of this is going to add to the burns as well so don't get caught up in in just doing the math on these numbers and saying well we burned 50 million terra luna classic today that is amazing until you realize it's going to take 130,000 days, 300 years before you get back to where you were before. That kind of that kind of mentality doesn't produce growth. You have to stay creative and you have to stay willing to burn more and more and more and look at the look at the price falling as a silver lining. You know, if you've got the price falling in Bitcoin, Everybody's losing money. Nobody's burning Bitcoin. But if Shiba Inu coin, if Terra Luna Classic, if these meme coins go down in value, where, where people are actually initiating these burn projects, it's it's a silver lining because it's it's a positive in a way. Yes, the price is low, but you can burn exponentially more as the price is low. So I want to know what you guys think, though. Give me an estimate down in the comments below. How long do you think before we reduce the supply of Terra Luna Classic by 1 trillion? Just 1 trillion coins, taking it from 6.5 trillion down to 5.5 trillion. Let us know your guesses down in the comments below. And of course, if this button right here is still red, make sure to click it, subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. You got Claybro883 on Twitter and Instagram, You're getting six free stocks on Weeble. And until the next time, hope each and every one of you have an awesome day.